Hello, hello, what's up devs? Today I wanna to talk to you about different resources that you can use to better learn Kotlin. Thankfully, as Kotlin's popularity has continued to increase, the resources available to us to learn the language have also increased. Nowadays, we have a lot of options at our fingertips. We have books, we have courses, we have conference talks and meetup talks and blog posts, a whole slew of things at our disposal to help us understand and discover and essentially better leverage Kotlin to write better code. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's take a look at some of these. As when learning many things, a great place to start is with the documentation. And thankfully for us, the Kotlin website has a lot of great resources to help get started with the language. Here we can see the homepage of the kotlinlang.org reference page. There are many useful links along the left-hand side, including things like getting started, basics, classes, a section on Java interop, which is really interesting when you're first starting off, how to get started with JavaScript, and then especially useful is the FAQ down at the bottom. If you click over to the more resources section, you'll find links to many more helpful resources that you can use to continue learning the language. The documentation available at developer.android.com also has a really useful section on Kotlin. It points to a number of code snippets, as well as sections for getting started with Kotlin, a Kotlin on Android FAQ, the new Android KTX library filled with useful Kotlin functions, and finally a section for resources to learn Kotlin. In addition to documentation, there are a lot of blog posts out there as well, written by people in the community that are sharing what they learn as they explore the language. Kotlin Weekly is an awesome place to stay up to date on all the latest Kotlin articles. They do the hard work for you by collecting things every week and sharing it out with you. You can search for the Kotlin tag on Medium and find a lot of great posts as well. And the Kotlin blog itself also has lots of great posts dating back for a long time, so there's a great backlog for you to catch up on. You might be thinking to yourself, hmm, might need more than just a couple of blog posts to learn a whole new programming language. And that's fair, and thankfully we're covered there too. There are a whole slew of books out there on the language, how to use it for Android development, how to use it for other platforms, and so I want to talk about three of my particular favorites, but I'll also link in the description below to a whole list of other books on Kotlin. My first recommendation is Kotlin in Action. This is an amazing book filled with practical examples of how to use Kotlin effectively. Next up is Kotlin for Android Developers. Now this book is more targeted towards Android devs, so if you're looking for how you can start using it for your Android apps, this is a great place to start. And finally, The Big Nerd Ranch Guide to Kotlin Programming. When this book comes out, I'll definitely be picking it up because their books have been terrific in the past. And finally, if you go to the book section of the kotlinlang.org website, you'll notice the full list of books that they include is quite long and covers a variety of topics. Now actually, YouTube and other online video platforms is another great place to learn more about the language. So conferences, meetups, etc. all are sharing their Kotlin talks online as videos. Additionally, JetBrains TV has several playlists, in particular one from KotlinConf 2017 that's filled with Kotlin videos. If you do a Google search for Google I.O. 2018, you'll see a lot of related talks from this year's Google I.O. And finally, a general search for Kotlin within YouTube provides a great number of resources as well. Podcasts can be a great way to stay up to date as well. Talking Kotlin is a terrific podcast completely dedicated to Kotlin and all the various ways it can be used. 
Fragmented Podcast, which is primarily an Android development podcast, also has a number of talks devoted to the Kotlin language. If you're looking for something a bit more directed rather than self-guided, there are a number of courses out there as well. Udacity has two courses available that are completely free. The first is a generic Kotlin bootcamp for programmers, and the other is more specific to Android developers. The Big Nerd Ranch has an Android Essentials of Kotlin bootcamp. Now, Big Nerd Ranch puts on great training courses, but they are expensive. So this might be a great option if you're already within a role and your company will pay for the training. There are many other courses available from places like Treehouse, Linda, or Udemy, but you often have to pay for them. Maybe you'd rather learn by doing. There's a number of great resources for that as well. I have a previous video on that, which you can find here, but we'll go through a few of those together right now. The online cones are my favorite way to start trying the language because you don't have to install anything and it gives immediate guided feedback. There's also a great number of Kotlin Android samples on a variety of different topics so you can see how do you apply this to Android development. And finally, you can create a new Android Studio project with Kotlin language supported as well and see what that generates for you. And finally, you can take an existing Java project convert that to Kotlin and see what that converted code looks like and start to learn that way. If you're really trying to better learn Kotlin, then hopefully a few of these resources stuck out to you and you can follow up on these later and improve your understanding of the language. I'd love to hear how other people are learning the language and what has been most useful for you. Thank you so much for watching.